Whoa. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube. I'm here with my bestie. I feel like my lips look so pale. I need to put gloss on. Um, we've just pulled up to Black Ice. It's bikini collection day. I'm really excited. As you guys know, Hannah would never miss a bikini collection day. Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Yeah. That's um, me. So yeah, we've um, we've had a really nice morning actually. Got up really early. I was awake at five. Um, I was awake at six. I think it was. I was actually half six. I got up at half six, but Is I was you? awake at six. Yeah. Um, got ready, and then we went to my usual stomping ground. New Brighton did our coffee walk. I was hoping to see Becky Jones, but we didn't. Guys, drop a comment below if you follow Becky Jones on TikTok because me and Hannah are obsessed with her. And we want to know if you've watched the cruise content because we were living for it. <laughs> I was really here for it. Love it so much. Love her so much. Um, but I always see Becky Jones posts that she's been in like West Covey or New Brighton. And it's always like after or before I've been there. And I'm like, fucking hell, I would Becky Jones. honestly die on the spot if I saw her. I just get really funny with people that I watch on TikTok or Instagram and then see them in real life. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who they are. I'm like, wow. Yeah. If any of you guys didn't know, me and Hannah have a podcast that we are going to be bringing back at some point things have just been really really hectic obviously with me on prep and hannah's got a lot going on as well um but we, we are going to bring it back aren't we yeah like it's, we really miss it it's really good it is a good podcast it's a really good pod but if you guys didn't know about it i'll put the link for the podcast in the description you can catch up and you can catch up and you can go and listen to an episode i can't remember which one it is so you have to listen to all the episodes but there is an episode where i talk about how bad hannah is around anyone that she follows on instagram they don't have to be famous well in her eyes, they're famous. In my eyes, they are. Yeah. And it, I'm the complete opposite, aren't I? Yeah, you could literally see an actual genuine celebrity, not yeah. like a um, social media celeb or anyone like that. It could be a genuine celebrity and you'd yeah. be like, okay, mm. they're just a human. I'm like, no, but they're not. I could literally see Rihanna walking down the street and I'd be like, oh, it's Rihanna. And that would be it. Whereas you would combust. <laughs> well... I feel like this is a really great time to announce to the to the vlog that I met Molly May last week. I was just going to say. Um, and I almost exploded. So Hannah texts me the week before last being like, oh my God, um, me and my friend have got tickets to go to the pop Molly up. May pop-up. Um, and my immediate response was, I wouldn't go to that with you. <laughs> I wouldn't be going. I said, I'm glad you've got a friend to go with because if you asked me to go, I'd say no. Yeah. Because I can't cope with her around famous people. I just can't do it. Because I just go really like... That's embarrassing. <laughs> She just like clams up and she's like, <gasps> I do, I do clam up. Yeah, and she'll like grab me and be like, no, it's, oh, my no, God, it's, oh my God, oh my God. And I'm like, God, they're breathing. You're making it obvious. <laughs> um, but yeah, so she met Molly May. I'm actually quite proud of you because it doesn't sound like you your head fell off. I, my head didn't fall off. I, do you know what I think it was? It was, I think it was the fact that she was so normal. It yeah. was like, she was so like down to earth and like n just normal. She wasn't phased. Yeah. And that brought me down. She wasn't phased by Hannah Shrek. She, she wasn't followers. phased by me. Yeah. <laughs> um, but anyway, guys, um, I'm probably just going to vlog bits of today. I don't know what else I'll put in this vlog, but um, I've been doing really good with my uploads. I've been doing really regular uploads twice yeah, a week. I'm really proud of myself. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to pick these up. Last time round, um, Mandy really wanted to get my reel up. And she was like, do you mind if I post this today? And I was like, no, go for it. Post it. I didn't really care about doing a bikini reveal, but I think this I year... That. Excuse me, this year I want to do a bikini reveal. So I'm not going to show them today. You'll see them, but you won't see the colour. I'm going to black and white it just because I want to do a reveal this year. On what? The bikinis. On, the yeah, colour. When are you going to do the reveal? On the show day. Yeah. What? Because you can't post stuff. You can post black and white stuff. Great. But I didn't do it last time. And I want to do it this time. Just because, I don't know. I just feel like it. They're really great colours. They're, they're yeah. rogue colours. Yeah, so I think that's why. I'm like, I want to surprise people with the colours I've chosen because yeah. I don't think they're colours that people would have thought. But no. I do have two bikinis. The red one's going to get reworn this year because I've got four shows. Um, and then my green and blue one, I think I'm going to oh, sell them. Great. Yeah, Christy says not to sell them. But I don't think you should sell any of them. No, mate. I don't I'd know how you could even think that. I'm going to keep the red one. That's but... like me saying I'm going to sell Twig. Yeah, but what am I going to do? Keep my bikinis every single year. Yeah. No, mate. They're hey. too expensive. They're four hundred and seventy-five pounds each, and I feel like if I sell the green and the blue one, it's going to basically pay for one of these bikinis today, because I could sell them for probably about they've been worn once each. So, um, the, the green, green one, one is, is gorgeous. I was considering the green one for Ireland, but I don't. I personally think no. But the um, the.
the green one we went for a smaller cup size and me and Maddie agreed at the fitting that it didn't look as good as on me as the red and the blue because the cup size was a size smaller so yeah what um cup size are you non-existent <laughs> my, my teacup <laughs> how did you get so flat chested <laughs> but yeah guys um i've only had one meal this the last few days have been quite hard my food got dropped i haven't updated you guys on um my updates so i'm two weeks out tomorrow which is crazy um checked in i'm checking in three times a week now so literally every second day um so did my check in monday had my high day monday tuesday um checked in wednesday food got dropped friday so um my food is very low at the moment and i've it's def i'm definitely feeling it already um monday tuesday was obviously fine because i was on high days but then after that the rest of the week i was just really fatigued like i'm not struggling it's just hard to do like day-to-day -day -day well, stuff running on nothing. yeah running on empty um but yeah it's what's needed and josh me and josh have agreed like we, we need to do this little last dig and then it's literally this week upcoming and then it's peak week <gasps> jesus yeah i know so it is what it is prep's been really easy so far so i'm like mm, i can suffer for a couple of weeks it is what it is um but yes yeah, so i've only had one meal and then i've got my pre-workout and then i think me and hannah are gonna go well we are we're gonna go and train after this me and hannah haven't trained together in a very very long time yeah, it's been years it's been years um so we're gonna Can't go train. To show you how i've not progressed <laughs> yeah, i'm glad that she's training with me today because training at the moment like it is hard and just this... wanted to make it fun for you yeah especially as it's legs because no one wants to do that no like anytime especially when like if you've never prepped before it's hard to explain it but like doing something like driving to black ice it's only an hour drive there and back but doing that does take a lot out of you so when you know you've got a leg session afterwards as well you're already like oh god like it's i'm drained already just thinking about it mm. so the fact that she's with me is going to help because help push me through and just make it a bit more fun i'll just take like we'll take good pics i'll um we'll get some good like footage yeah um make some memories have a laugh yeah um and we'll just get through it yeah it'll I'll get be you fine it. so i've got my pre-workout with me so i'm gonna eat that after this i'm gonna end this here nikita's also coming so i'm excited um she'll probably be here soon um but yeah, guys, that's it. Oh, that looks so nice. I won't make it easy for you now. You got two minutes of my time. And I don't really break too easy. I'm worth it, cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind oh, 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 so give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it to Mars, oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind Just watch me We've just stopped at the services, we're on the way home. I'm obsessed with my bikinis, really happy with them. Um, Hannah hasn't eaten since I've seen her last night. So she's got the cinnamon swirl, crispy cake, crispy keem, crispy cream. And I told her to taste test it for the vlog mm. because it's one of the, um, it's one of the new ones, isn't it? It is one of the new ones. And I really love donuts. Mate, you know I love a crispy cream. I always go for a crispy cream if I have to, if I'm going for a donut, it's going to be a Krispy Kreme. I hope it's good. I do as well. I've got cream of rice pre-workout. The last time you were in the vlog, you were eating those um, donut time ones from Pocho. Mm, yeah. The disc off one, I think it was. That was 10 out of 10. It's really cinnamony, yeah. which I rate. I mean, it does look like it's got a lot. It's cinnamon sugar, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see. Why are birds always shitting on my fucking car? I think it's because it's white. I think I'd prefer it warm. Mind your elbows, don't knock your elbow back because there's blueberries there. 
That um, would be a disaster. Is it dry? Yeah. Is it? That's a shame because Krispy Kremes are never dry, but that's what I was thinking because it's got no glaze. That doesn't mm. look like enough icing for me personally. Mm. Good. I like the fact that... It... The icing on top is really tasty. I really love the fact that there's loads of cinnamon sugar. But the actual dough is quite dry. That's really sad. Would you get it again? No. What's your favourite Krispy Kreme? The Biscoff one? The Nutella one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mine's the um, either the Biscoff or the, you know, I love an original glazed. If I was mm -hmm. ever getting one, I always get original glazed. But do you remember last prep when I was having, um, I had the Biscoff ones pre-staged? Mm -hmm. That was good. Anyway, guys, rate it out of 10, sorry, before we finish that. I'm torn between, so I'm going to go halfway, 6.5. Hmm. That puts, this is why I like people taste testing stuff that I want to taste test because nine times out of 10, it's shit. I think you'd like the taste, but yeah. you'd be disappointed by the texture too. You'd be like, mm. That's why, that's why I love the glaze. It's always 10 out of 10. It's always good. I remember going to the ball ring once really early, really early, like opening. Oh, they're fresh. And they, they were handing out free <laughs> glazed that had just come out of the- Fucking hell. I'd I don't know, all, oven? I'd go around there three times. Yeah. Anyway, Delicious. Guys, um, that's Hannah's pre-workout. Um, we're gonna go and train like so we're gonna eat this and then get to the gym. I might film a little bit. I'll see how I feel. I probably won't to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Bye. Peace out. Okay guys, I'm home. Hannah has literally just left. When I tell you, I have never been so tired. I only got about two hours sleep last night. Um, I mean, Hannah have been on the go all day. It's like five o'clock now. Um, I'm gonna, I've got two and a half thousand steps left. So I'm gonna go and get those now. Um, and then I need to get into bed basically. I'm gonna get into bed for the evening. I'm very, very drained. Two hours sleep on this food and this amount of output, like you don't understand how much that sleep, lack of sleep will affect you. Like, honestly, I feel ill, but I'm gonna go and get my steps in. Um, I had the best day ever today. Having Nikki and Hannah there with me today was amazing. So I'm just so grateful to those girls and I love them very much. Um, really happy with my bikinis, you guys. I can't wait to show you them. They are absolutely gorgeous. Really, 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 really obsessed. Um, I just love how much of an experience Mandy makes it. She wasn't feeling well today. She still came in for the collection. So yeah, she's truly amazing. She's an amazing person. And she just makes it such a nice experience, a little mini event for you. She makes you feel beautiful and special on the day. And it's just so nice. Um, I'll never go anywhere else for my bikinis and honestly if you've not competed before and you're thinking of competing and you're not sure who to go to I cannot recommend Black Ice enough. Mandy and the girls there are amazing. Um, but yeah I'll fill you guys in on everything once I've um, had a good night's sleep. I'm going to put the camera away for the rest of today because I need to just get these steps in um, and box this day off but yeah I am... Um, buzzing with my bikinis i just very very tired um so yeah hey guys so it has been quite a few days since i picked up my camera so the last clips you would have seen was from would have been from saturday and um, which was my bikini collection the only um exciting thing that's happened this week is i did get my hair extensions back i'm wearing a the worst jumper to show these because i feel like my hair is going to be hidden in the darkness of the hoodie but my hair extensions are back in and yeah, I'm obsessed with them. Not looking forward to having to wash them, I'm not gonna lie, but my hair is ready for show and I'm buzzing with them. The other thing, so my Achilles has been giving me a little bit of pain um, 
around the weekend time. It started niggling when I was doing cardio on the stairs mostly. Um, and then at the end of the day, I'd be like, oh, it's a bit achy in my left leg. Yesterday, did my cardio, went and did 15,000 steps, and honestly, I couldn't walk. I was in that much pain. I was limping. It was so sore. Um, so, not ideal, but the timing of this is actually works out well. If this had happened sooner in my prep, it would not be good because I have to rest it. The only way to help, really, is ice, rest, um, and basically not doing things that's gonna irritate it. I'm gonna move you over here for a sec because I need to, I'm prepping my veggies. Just making some mushrooms. Um, so yeah, I need to rest it, um, which obviously on prep, you don't have time to do that with all the cardio and all the steps. Also guys, I don't know if people are aware of this, but Mushrooms are so low calorie. They're really great for volume. Um, for 100 grams of mushrooms, you're looking at like eight calories. So it's a really good veg to add into your meals to bulk them out. Pro tip. Anyway, yeah, if this had happened a few weeks ago, I would have probably been in a really bad way about it. Like really worried about how I'm gonna get my stairs in, blah, blah, blah. But the fact that it got to the point where it was killing me, couldn't walk yesterday, Today was my final cardio session. Today was my final Stairmaster session. From today, we're supposed to be tapering everything down. Now, my cardio is meant to come out, my steps are meant to stay the same. So because of my Achilles, Josh has pulled my um, steps down to 8,000 from today. And instead of stairs, I'm doing um, an hour, I did an hour on the bike this morning because that's not gonna irritate my Achilles. And basically, for the next few days, instead of doing my high step count, I'm gonna be doing an hour on the bike. Now, he has told me that hour on the bike, I'm not to treat it like Stairmaster. It's not in replacement of the cardio, it's in replacement of my low intensity walking. So, um, I don't have to like achieve a really high heart rate or anything like that. Um, whilst I'm on the bike, it's just a low intensity hour to kind of make up for the activity that I'm losing whilst my steps are pulled down but it's peak week next week. So everything is starting to come down anyway. My activity needs to start coming down. I need to start resting up, relaxing, um, and starting to get off a lot of that fatigue. So I've got the time to rest it basically. I've got the time to rest it. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, an hour on the bike, it could, it could not be further from what I wanna do. I hate the bike. I absolutely hate it. Doing an hour on it this morning uh, honestly killed my soul a little bit, but it is what it is. Um, I got some treatment done for it today, um, some dry needling. And I'm not gonna lie, I just went for a little walk um, just to the Aldi to get some stuff that we needed for the house. And it already feels a million times better. I've been icing it, taking ibuprofen, and I don't think it's anything very serious. I have had Achilles, tendonitis in my Achilles before, um, and I know for a fact that if you catch it early and you rest it, within a few days to a week, it does go away. Um, but again, this is one of those things on prep, you do dig yourself so far into a hole that injuries and stuff like that can happen if you don't look after yourself. Um, so I'm quite lucky that I do get regular treatment and stuff like that. Um, and you know, I've been around the block a few times. I've had plenty of injuries, I know how to rehab them, I know what I'm supposed to do, I know my body, I know when to push and when not to. I'm staying positive, I'm not letting it get me down. Like I say, I do think in a few days it'll be a lot better with some rest. I think dropping my steps down and just doing that bike instead for a few days is gonna massively help. I'm gonna keep icing it, I'm gonna take ibuprofen um, and get a little bit more treatment and I'll be absolutely golden. As of today, I think I am 10 days out today, which is very exciting. And like I say, today was my final cardio session. Not of the whole prep, I'll prob I'm sure cardio will go back in in between shows because I do have quite a few shows um, and they're spread out. I'm not gonna be done competing until middle of November, I think. I think, not 100%, it'll depend on qualifying for shows, etc. But, um, so I'm sure cardio will go back in at some point, but this was my last cardio 
before the first show. Mm -hmm. So yeah guys, today was my rest day, I had a very chilled one. Um, my Achilles does feel a whole lot better right now. I'm gonna ice it. I've also got this strap, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can you see that? Um, so I've wrapped my ankle up just to stop any excess movement and there's no huge changes to my body weight this week which has been frustrating because Josh actually dropped my food on Wednesday and I'm pretty sure the last clip I filmed of this vlog I was in a bad way like guys the reason I haven't vlogged this week is because since the bikini fitting every day has been so draggy like my energy levels I have been digging myself into an absolute grave for this condition pushing for a condition um, I haven't had a high day in like mm, nearly two weeks and um, my food got dropped last week Wednesday so um, my calories and macros aren't visible on my plan but Hannah wanted to know what I was on so I gave my meal plan and she basically said it's sub a thousand calories so I think somewhere around maybe 900 I'm not 100 percent sure um, but she said it's very low mate uh, so I know but I know my food is low and my weight hasn't actually dropped since my food has been dropped but um i am due on this week now my period hasn't actually come um, and this is something that i i'm pretty sure like you know i've seen quite a few competitors talk about this i don't know whether it's spoken about enough but it is one of the risks that you um you know have to accept as a female when you get to this level of condition you can lose your cycle um, and i'm pretty sure that i've had my cycle regularly every single month up until this cycle um so you know I, i'm pretty happy with that the fact that it's stuck around until now and um, obviously it, it's not ideal to lose your cycle but that is going to be my number one priority post show to put on weight and get my cycle back but i am due on this week and um, i'm currently three days late so um even though I've not had an actual bleed, like an actual period, I am still like technically on my period. So I'm still experiencing PMS. Like I've been bloated this week. Um, it has impacted my energy levels. Um, I've, like I've been a bit more fatigued. My mood has been a bit up and down. I've been a bit more emotional this week. Um, and my scale weight hasn't moved. And if you've seen any of my previous vlogs, you'll know that when I'm due on, um, my weight does jump up. Now my weight hasn't increased. But it has held so i'm expecting in the next couple of days for that to come down because like i say i've been pushing really really hard and there's no way that i'm not getting leaner in my photos i look visibly leaner from this week to last and um, but the scale weight just hasn't come down so just trying not to let that get in my head um i'm pretty sure over the weekend i should see a new low because like i say there's no way that i'm not um dropping body fat because i was dropping body fat drastically before he dropped my food and I was having regular high days and I haven't had any high days in two weeks and my food is the lowest it's been so I'm expecting a drop soon tomorrow's check-in day so um, I'm gonna end this vlog here and I'm gonna pick the camera up tomorrow and I'm gonna vlog over the weekend and um, in the lead up to peak week and then I'm gonna try and vlog every single day on peak week to show you guys everything that goes into it um, and yeah I'm getting nervous now you guys very nervous I did have a big wobble um, the other day just worrying that I don't look good enough um, I think it's just nerves nerves and I do put a lot of pressure on myself and I've done really well this prep not to do that not to get in my own head and not to put any pressure on myself but this week I did get in my own head but like I said I'm due on and I've been a little bit emotional so I think that's why um, and obviously this is the, the last week of pushing so it's always going to be one of those ones where you're like a little bit of nerves and panic kicks in um, and it's just because I want to be proud of myself and I want everyone else to be proud of me too and won't ever feel like I've let anyone down and yeah do you know what I mean so a little bit of that this week but otherwise I'm okay I'm gonna stop rambling I'm gonna end this vlog here and um, huge huge thank you to you guys who are watching the vlogs regularly and um, I've had you know people DMing me saying they love the vlogs they're loving that there's more regular uploads they want me to um you know just keep up with it um into my off season and i really really do want to and like i, I did try last off season um but i didn't try hard enough and this time around i am going to carry on because i love my youtube channel youtube is probably my favorite platform for producing content vlogging is my favorite form of content 
Um, it's the one that comes most naturally to me. I just really enjoy it. I really, really do enjoy it. Um, so yeah, I want to show you guys a lot more of this off season. Um, and I do think I showed, you know, I showed a good bit of the off season, more than what most people do. Most people don't vlog their off season at all. So if you do want to see some of my off season, there is quite a few vlogs there. Uh, so go and have a look. But um, yeah, I do really want to keep up with the channel and I massively appreciate every single one of you who subscribed, who likes the videos, who comments, who watch the videos, um, because you are the reason that I do keep going. Um, so yeah, really, really grateful and I'm excited to take you guys through peak week with me. Um, but we've got a good few days to go. We've got three days still to get through until peak week. We're still di very much still digging. Although that cardio is not in there, um, my food is still the pits so yeah um i will catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching make sure to like the video if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe to the channel because it means a lot to me and it helps me out um and drop a comment below and let me know if there's anything you want to see from the channel because i will get that done um but yeah see you guys in the next one also guys I feel like I need to address this. This is from the massage table and it won't go away so just ignore that if you can see that in the clips and you're wondering what it is it's from the massage table. Okay bye.